Amazing pictures from space. Elon Musk pulls off an engineering feat. He sent his own kind of rocket man on board a Tesla Roadster into orbit. Elon Musk has outdone himself this time. <laughs> but this is much more than a publicity stunt involving just a car in space. Let's start with the science. This afternoon, SpaceX launched the world's most powerful rocket, and it's a major milestone for the company. And this is a live look at what's happening right now in space. That's Elon Musk's own Tesla convertible in orbit. The driver is a mannequin he's calling Starman. But CBS reporter Manuel Boroquez shows us what came down is also making news. Twenty-seven rocket engines fired at once, sending the Falcon Heavy into space and the SpaceX crew into applause. Well, if you could hear all that cheering, it was an outstanding test flight of the Falcon Heavy. The mega rocket combines the power of three SpaceX rockets into one, generating over five million pounds of thrust enough to launch a 737. It's a very big step forward. We hadn't seen a rocket this powerful uh, since the space shuttle retired uh, back in 2011. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk spoke with CBS space analyst Bill Harwood Monday at the launch pad. What does the country need this rocket? And this rocket's great for, for a lot of reasons. Um, it's something that I think inspires the public and you could actually send people back to the moon with the Falcon Heavy, with the orbital refueling, send people to Mars. <laughs> The payload on this test launch is Musk's Midnight Cherry Tesla Roadster with a dummy named Starman. It's headed for an elliptical orbit around the sun that extends as far out as Mars, and it could remain in orbit for hundreds of millions of years. And the side boosters that got the Falcon Heavy into space, Musk got them back intact. They stuck their landings at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Manuel Bojorquez, CBS News, Kennedy Space Center. All right, we got to show you more live pictures <laughs> from space. Coming up in about 90 minutes, if all goes well, rockets on board will fire again, sending the Roadster on its way towards Mars.